My name is Torsha and welcome back to Tishna Talk. And I am all born on the left because there is going to be some high wind speeds that can actually go up to 47 kilometers per hour right now. So I, if wind can make things cold and if you ever wonder why where, like how is wind formed? Then you can do the right wind. So make sure you like and subscribe if you want to learn more information. So first, let's jump into this. How is wind created? Wind is created with colder and hot air. So the hot air that usually comes from lakes or any water body will start to rise and then it starts going a bit this side or any direction if it's here let me keep going this side and maybe it goes here and then it starts going that way and then it it sends its light it starts to go up and then immediately colder coming up from towards it so then it contacts creating the cold air still to move and then it's starting to sink because it's hot because it is heavier than the hot air so then the hot air starts is colder because it's in a part of the sky that is cold so it starts cooling this side or this side depending on where it started from and then it starts sinking because it colder and it is heavy and then seeing the hot air keeps on going this happens in a cycle and we call this cycle wind and the process of this is called coliosis force and let me tell you the advantages of wind and the disadvantages of wind so when there is wind birds can get a free lift off so that they don't need to flap their wings all the time while flying. Also, since wind is a big part of pollinating, it will be nice to have a lot of wind and, and, and plant growth will skyrocket. And during windy days, it can become cold. But if it's very hot, it will be nice to have wind. Another good thing with wind is that kids that love to ride, that love to play with kites, can ride their kites because it will be a windy, so their kite will be flying. And people actually can do wind surfing. That is another advantage if you want to go wind surfing. But I don't think so because they can get crazy. Also, wind energy that is windmills. disasters like tornadoes and hurricanes that we do not like because they cause destruction and a lot of destruction. And another disadvantage is sometimes you really, really, really want to go out but it's too windy and it's really cold. And that's why you can't go out even if you get bundled up a lot. Another reason why wind will be um, not so good is because wind, like fighting wind that are super strong when you're outside, can be part in that wind was in and now the highest wind speed recorded was 
was at New Hampshire, Mount Washington, and in 1934, it went up to around 375 kilometers per hour. That it was very, very fast. But then in 1968, there was a cyclone happening off the coast of Australia. And 10 meters above ground, instruments, not the instruments we play to make music, scientific instruments that record wind speeds, detected a 408 kilometers per hour wind speed. But that was 10 meters above ground. So the fastest wind speed on ground would be, would be, would basically be the one in New Hampshire. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. Learn more. Bye bye!